Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in again. So hey, we uh, got our weekend completed. A busy, busy weekend. Uh, my daughter uh, got married. She had her big wedding. And so a lot of families up and all that good stuff. So not a lot of time out here working on stuff, you know, just now we got that out of the way. We can get back on the track, get back into the groove of things. So my sister, she works at uh, Disney World in Florida in Orlando. Um, they call it working for the rat. See why? And I guess, and I didn't realize, it is their 50th anniversary. So she's always up, comes up and brings us some cool things when she's down there. Um, so she brought me this coffee mug. She knows I love coffee and drinking. And I thought, dude, this is a pretty cool cup. So like I said, she's worked there for like, she's almost like 30 years or so. I mean, she's she's been there a long time. And another thing she brought, because she knew I had this room built, uh, she picked up a tractor trailer. Uh, Peterbilt and I thought that's pretty cool so I'll probably just keep that in the box and put it up here in the wall and another thing she brought me because she knows I'm in the trains and this is uh, a Mickey's uh, Runaway Railroad Railway uh, just a little whistle so I thought that's you know I'll just put it in the shelf I thought that was pretty cool of her to do that I appreciate it appreciate it oh and she also knows I'm a big coca-cola fan and she brought me this 50th anniversary coke bottle uh, obviously, it's still got pop in it, or cola, or soda, wherever part of the country you're from. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So appreciate it, sister. Anyways, we are back on the Daytona project. So this is episode number four. There's going to be episode number five once uh, maybe midweek here. I guess this is midweek. Um, maybe towards the end of the week. Uh, I got the uh trim all painted on it. it turned out pretty nice i got a few blemishes here and there that was a lot of taping i mean uh, that was a lot of taping so all went well uh not a lot of bleed through or anything so i was pretty happy with that just a few edges because i ended up masking over top of things and then i ended up cutting it and so i'm cutting through like double pieces of tape some spots of three pieces anyhow there's a few little rough edges which i was kind of mm, wondering if that was going to be the case um so yeah, other than that, uh, I got the hood painted, uh, the, the louver in the hood, that turned out pretty nice, and I painted the, um, kind of like the little chin spoiler balance underneath the front bumper, so that turned out as well, it turned out pretty good. So, other than that, uh, I'm going to have the chassis and the body finished up hopefully in the next video. Uh, I got the interior done, I'll show you that in a little bit in the video here. I ended up painting the seats, that checkerboard look to the seats. Um, they didn't turn out too bad. Not my favorite job. Mm -mm. I tried something new. I always like trying something new, see how it works out. Sometimes it does. Sometimes I gotta redo it. But this turned out pretty good. Anyways, I used that drywaller's, uh, uh, sanding paper. It, it worked good, but it was just a little too coarse. It didn't want to bend that well. I was going to use screen. I have some up in, like, window screen. I have some up in my garage, but man, I just didn't feel like digging for it. It's, it's, it's up there. I mean, it's, it's kind of buried. I didn't really want to go buy any just to do that. So I thought, well, I'll try this out. I think next time if I did something like this, I think the window screen would work better. But this was more thicker where it had more defined lines in it. So I just wish it would have stuck a little better to it so I didn't get as much overspray underneath it. It turned out okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's it's going to be good enough. It's going to work. Other than that, uh, once I got all done with it, I assembled the interior and I took some black chalk and I dusted it over because the white was pretty like... It stood out pretty good, and uh, this way here kind of toned it down almost into a grayish black. So it turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. It looks good. Just something different to try. It, it worked out for what the effect I was looking for, because my car originally had checkered seats in it. Um, so yeah, so it looks good. So we are at that point, and I will spin this camera around, and I'll show you what we have accomplished, what we have completed, and all that kind of stuff so so hey let's take a look so we have our door panels here somewhat taped off and we are going to apply this over top of it and paint it white and we're going to see how it looks this is just your drywall 220 fine and we are going to apply this we're going to tape it down and we're going to paint it and that hopefully will give that our uh, checkered pattern so Let's get this tape down, mix a little paint, and we'll see what it turns out like. 
All right, guys, so I'm just taking this here, just taking and cutting it in strips. Fold it in place. Just wrap it around, and we'll see how that does. Tape it into place here. So I know on the picture the car has it's um, got checkered here as well, so I'm going to just leave that. So I did the back seat, did the other front seat, the other back seat, got the one door panel here. So I just got to do these two back seats and then get this guy here wrapped up. And we should be ready to go. Okay, guys, nothing crazy, just a quick hit. And I just use old school testers, just some flat white enamel. So, let's see what we got. Like I say, I don't know how this is going to work. So, let's look at it together. Kind of thinking it probably didn't work like I wanted it to, but hey, you never know. You never know. I mean, I'm just looking for just a little bit of a, a look. Eh, not too bad. I know it's not going to be perfect looking, but I thought, you know, just to give it a little bit of color. Really don't care how much I give it. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Well, oh, that looks really cool on the door. So that was really the look I was going for, something like that there. But I figured the seats are so contoured, like it's very hard to keep that flat because this stuff is kind of rigid. Looks all right on the seats. Get the rest of the tape off and it will see what it looks like. It's kind of cool looking. Remember, I got these seats all taped up the rest of the way, and I'm just so impatient I can't let it sit and dry. I just gotta see what it looks like. I should have, I probably should have airbrushed it. Probably would have looked a little nicer, but it's not a big, big deal. It's not really something you're gonna see a whole lot of. I just figured it'd be one of those once you looked inside of it, it'll give you the, the illusion that it's checker. So it's kind of all I was going for. But I think once you get the rest of the tape off it, it might give you a little more better look. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. How's my ultimate goal is one like that one, but that'll do. It'll do. Okay, I'll get the rest of this tape off and we'll take a look at it after that. All right, we're getting ready to spray this. So everything masked off. We want to stay white, obviously. So hopefully there wasn't much for body lines on this. So I kind of had to use a little imagination in some of it. Uh, there was nothing across the front, so I hope that's will turn out okay. Good enough to give it just that little accent. We'll get some paint sprayed up. We got the hood masked off, and and our just our front bumper here. I'm just doing the bottom for right now, and I'll do the rest of it later. All right, we'll get her in the paint booth here, and uh, we're going to use the Tamiya. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got semi gloss LP5 is what we're going to use on this. All right. I'm going to shoot this with the patch, or I'm sorry, with the uh, 0, .0 uh, airbrush, and it should turn out hopefully pretty good. And we'll peel the paper and see what she looks like. All right. Let's see how we did here. Let's start with this guy first. So it's the fun part. Take the tape off. So it makes this a little wet, which I really don't like sometimes because that's when you get your bleed under. So hopefully we did okay. Looking good so far. Oh yeah, it looks good. Very nice, very nice. All right, now for Mr. Hood. I don't know, I'm hoping this turns out okay. Just because I really didn't get the corners all that well, you know, like the rounded edges on them. They're more so just squared off. So hopefully that's not going to affect it too much. Not too bad. Like that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, now for the main event. Let's see what the body looks like. This part's still just a little wet. I know this for lacquer, it seems like it takes a little longer to dry. Like I said, I did 
I did run it a little thin. I'd say my biggest fear is on doing a black on top of white car was if I miss some taping somewhere or the tape didn't hold down and it, it wicked its way onto the onto the white. Horrible. edge there. Maybe I'll touch that up. That is my tape line. And I think a couple of spots that's a little edgy. It's alright, we can fix it. So what it is, I run this tape up to the top here and then I cut it. So in the process of cutting it, I created new lines. Still all in all not too bad so far. Okay, I have a few spots here I got to fix. Not too bad. I can repair these easily. I'll just run more tape on it once it just dries and just do a quick touch up, probably just with a paintbrush. But the main spot down here looks really good, and that's what my concern was. And same here, everything else looks pretty good. Got a little spottage here, need to fix that. A little up here. Like I say, not too bad. It's easy, easy fixes, easy fixes. All in all, that don't look too bad. Turned out pretty nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is my interior. It's not as defined as I'd like it to have turned out, but it's all right. It's okay. I did the dash a little bit. Uh, if you can see up in there or not. So it's, I mean, like I say, it's okay. It's not the, it's not the perfect dash and interior setup, but I think it looks pretty good. So this worked out okay. Um, I was actually trying to find screen, like off a screen door. Um, but like I showed you earlier, I use this um, drywall sanding stuff here. And it was almost kind of rigid, you know, I think where the screen would have been a little more pliable. I think that would have fit in there a lot nicer. I'll let this dry for a little bit and um, we will do a little touch up on it because I see I got some spots that could use some major touch up and some looks pretty good. So that is our Daytona project so far guys. Well hey guys I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching on this. Uh, this is uh, like I say episode number four so hopefully we'll get this wrapped up in the meantime and get this one done. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the channel. Hey, uh, you guys like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we will talk to you later. And once again, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a good one.